Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. The prairie of southern Alberta is perfect for farming, and it's also one of the best places in Canada for a solar farm. So we wondered, what happens to all that farmland when a giant solar farm is built? Hi there, my name is Gregory Lamming. I work for Capstone Infrastructure. I'm a QA for civil and uh, mechanical here at the Claire's Home Solar Project. And behind us, we have the biggest solar farm in Canada. Behind Lamming, solar stretches over the landscape for as far as I can see. There are more than 400,000 solar modules covering 1,000 acres here at the largest solar farm in Canada. So sometimes when uh, solar farms are built, you're taking the land away from previous uses. This land here was used for grazing in the past. And since we brought the sheep back, it's being used for grazing again. These lands are owned by the Granham Hutterite Colony. The land was used for grazing before the solar farm was built. And now the sheep are back. So this land here was primarily used for grazing. Uh, there wasn't a lot of crop growing here because of the, the soils. And so after we built the solar farm, we brought sheep in to continue grazing. So the farmers and the corporation actually benefit from the sheep. The sheep control the weeds, they control the grass. It is a cost savings. It's beneficial to the farmers and it's beneficial to the company. So we have about 1,200 head here now. And it takes about a month and they can clear three or 400 acres. And it's incredible how fast they, they chew it all up. So the sheep saved the solar company money by eating the grass, which without the sheep would have to be cut or controlled with herbicides. So we had very little rain this year, and there are a lot of farmers with uh, grazing lands that are, that are really taxed out. They love to hide underneath the panels. When it gets hot around here, and it does in southwestern Alberta, they like to hide and cuddle around the posts and get all together and you know take it easy in the hot days. In the drought-stricken summer of 2021, the heat dome that covered the Canadian prairie sent temperatures soaring to near 40 degrees Celsius. Grass actually grew better in the shade of the solar modules. And it's pretty clear that the sheep love the shade too. So what kind of problems do sheep cause? They poop. <laughs> it's just like any other herbivore. It's actually fertilizing. If there was any issues with the construction, the sheep manure is actually bringing back the soil to an even better quality than it was. It's a win-win. The Granham Hutterite Colony provided millions of dollars worth of products and services during the construction of the solar farm. They're paid lease payments by the solar company, and they continue to use the land as it was before. As for Gregory Lamming, he's a carpenter who got into the renewable energy industry eight years ago. He enjoys working with the sheep around. I love hanging out with the sheep. <laughs> They're calm. Um, it really makes me feel like I'm in a natural setting when I'm at work. And uh, it's not what you would expect for a power plant. I got into renewables in 2013 in Ontario. Um, they were running the FIT program at the time, the feed-in tariff program. I built several farms uh, throughout Ontario, um, ranging from 35 megawatts to 100 megawatts. Not all solar projects are built this way. But here, the largest solar project in Canada is working symbiotically with farming. Check out the solar farm and the sheep in our video at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.